10 News reporter Shane Dwyer was with the nominee for governor, Terry McAuliffe, in Northern Virginia as he announced his victory. It only took 45 minutes for analysts to call the election in favor of the former governor, and his supporters here in Northern Virginia were thrilled to hear the news. Tonight, they say they're ready to move forward and support McAuliffe this coming fall. You will have my total energy to make sure that Virginia leads America out of the COVID crisis. This is what Democrats do. Let's go on to victory on November 2nd. In the weeks and months leading up to the Democratic primary, McAuliffe led by a huge margin, and Tuesday the results matched. McAuliffe earned more than 60% of the vote and is now officially on the ballot for his former seat. Five candidates vied for the win. Jennifer Carroll Foy came in second place with 20% of the vote. Tonight, she says her campaign fought hard and gave it their all, offering support for McAuliffe and saying they must win this fall. Jennifer McClellan received 11%, Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax with just less than four, and Lee Carter finished fifth with about 3%. McAuliffe says he's ready to lead the party forward and secure a win for Democrats this November. Glenn Youngkin is running for governor because of Donald Trump. I am running for governor because of you. Tonight, the state Democratic Party of Virginia is congratulating McAuliffe on the nomination and says this proves that the party is unified and ready to win this fall. In Fairfax County, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.